what do we know about the lymph system when we're sort of entering into practice is very little. I think the sophistication of that system is not really understood. Talking to medical schools and medical professionals, they very freely said, actually, in our entire medical training, we get about 15 minutes spent on the lymphatic system. Well, you begin to see with doctors that if they don't really understand the system that well, if they really don't have any treatments or cures to offer related to it, it doesn't really inspire them to know a great deal about it. Even handling obesity in general is something in medical school residency that we never get training on. So then a, a specialized condition within that field, we have even less knowledge about. And I think that that represents a real challenge for physicians, especially you know, in the context of a busy practice, if you have 10, 15 minutes to see a patient, and as soon as that door opens, there's an immediate judgment before you even open your mouth on who you are as a person and how you got there. And I sometimes think that then the walls sort of go up immediately, and then you don't really connect with those people um, as a person quite as much because you can make that snap judgment. I think that the 15 minute problem is, is one of the big problems. The problem with the 15 minute frame that, that people are working in is that they're, the amount that they have to discard is a very high level. The essence of what the problem is for the patient may have been left it discarded. You know, and I think that's the kind of assumption that we see so frequently in medical providers is that if a patient has excess weight, then they're blamed for it, or they're perceived as being non-compliant with treatment recommendations. And if they go back and come back for an appointment a year later and they haven't lost weight or they've gained weight, the assumption is that they're not complying with treatment, not that there could be a progression of a disease going on. Probably about three years ago, we um, did a series of three papers, um, so it was two research studies, and we were really interested in what was going on with our students here at the University of Nottingham, thinking about weight stigma, the extent to which it affected our student population thinking about what we might be able to do about it. Um, the, the extent of the weight stigma was absolutely shocking. We had 1.4% of our population could be said to have positive or neutral attitudes. So the vast, vast majority having these negative attitudes. So that was you know, something that really was very surprising and, and um, has, has brought it home to you because it is on your doorstep. These are the students that we are training to be healthcare professionals. They were dieticians, nutritionists um, and doctors and nurses.